DigitalOcean provides the facility to manage our own DNS. To do this, we'll select the networking section within the menu on the left so that we can get to the overview page for domains. We then insert a domain within the text box. I'll put in my own domain, timothymarmo.com. Select which project I want to create a domain in. I'll leave this to my personal project and click add domain. As DigitalOcean is not a domain registrar, we'll need to configure our name servers with the registrar we bought our domain on. We'll find an extensive list of instructions for multiple registrars on how to do this within DigitalOcean's own documentation and tutorials, which you can easily get to following the provided link. Once the name servers have been configured, we can create the needed records. For example, I'll create an A record, we can create one or multiple of them, and we can do this for the root domain, a specific subdomain, or a wildcard. I'll set an A record pointing at the root of the domain by adding the at symbol, and then we'll choose the resource we want to direct our domain to. We can choose a individual droplet, a load balancer, or a reserved IP. I'll pick a load balancer I created within Amsterdam, as I want a highly available system. We can also configure our TTL, time to live, in seconds, but I'll keep mine to the default one hour and click create. We can also set a quad A record for IPv6 addresses or a C name, which will direct a host name to another host name. For example, I'll direct old.timothymarmo.com to the root of my domain. We can also set the time to live, but I'll leave this to the default value and create the record. Other records we can set and manage are MX records, text records, which can be useful when we want to verify our own domain, NS, server, and CAA records. For more information on the specifics of how to set these records, you can always reference DigitalOcean's documentation. That's it for managing domains with DigitalOcean. Feel free to reach out should you have any questions.